Oh, say what you say. What's the weather today? I'm the cat in the hat and it's raining, I know, but let's not stay inside. We've got places to go. Where the sunshine is shining, where warm winds are blowing, where lightning is flashing, where snowflakes are snowing. The weather is changing. Come on, let's get going. First stop is the top of Mount Karakaku, where they study the weather and that is all they do. Watching the weather helps everyone know what to wear, where to live, and what food they can grow. Pilots check weather when they fly a plane. Are they flying in sunshine or clouds filled with rain? Corn grows where it's hot and rice grows where it's wet. Farmers grow what grows best in the weather they get. Meteorologists forecast the weather and say what kind of weather is heading our way. They send weather balloons floating high in the air to measure how hot or how cold it is there. Air temperature affects weather a lot. Thermometers show if it's cold or if it's hot. Wind changes weather and we can see why. It blows clouds along and clears rain from the sky. Anemometers measure how fast the wind goes. A wind vane will show you which way the wind blows. On this map of the weather, you'll see it's showing. It's sunny in Gret, but in Grugel, it's snowing. See the snowflakes in Grugel? And it's sunny in Gret. A strong wind is blowing the snow right toward Gret. Tomorrow, the weather in Gret will be wet. Symbols on weather maps show right away what kind of weather we're having today. This symbol shows drizzle, and this one means rain, and this means it's snowing, and this means hurricane. Weather forecasts are important to us. Will we need a jacket to wait for the bus? When clouds form a ring and it circles the moon, sailors know this ring means there's a storm coming soon. A pine cone can forecast the weather. Here's why. It closes when it's wet and it opens up when it's dry. Here is a fact that we cannot explain. Frogs croak a lot more when it's going to rain. There are all kinds of clouds in you, that you can see in the sky. Cirrus are light and wispy, clouds floating by. Cumulonimbus clouds mean there's a storm on the way. You see cumulus clouds on a warm sunny day. Then a cloud touches down on the ground, it's called fog. If it mixes with smoke, then the fog becomes smog. A funny way to learn a cloud's shape is to draw it. We said that's a cirrus the minute we saw it. Remember, cirrus are those light and wispy clouds. If you look inside any cloud, you will see water droplets that bounce all around happily. If the droplets get close, they'll soon join together, get heavy and fall, and then we're in for wet weather. They fall to the ground, then the sun's energy turns them to water vapor, which we cannot see. Water vapor floats up, forms a new cloud, and then rain falls from the cloud to the ground once again. Water droplets are tiny. This fact made us stop. It takes one million droplets to make just one raindrop. Guess what they call this? Give it a trickle. The path of the rain is called the water cycle. So the sun heats up the water and it turns into vapor. And then if you get all of those water vapor droplets together, it turns into clouds. And then when the clouds get heavy, it rains. And 
and the rain trickles down the mountains and back into the lake or ocean or body of water. It's a, a cycle, another cycle. Here are some words that we learned on vacation. Rain, snow, sleet, and hail are called precipitation. Water changing to vapor is called evaporation. So if you drop your popsicle on the sidewalk on a sunny day and then you go back a couple hours later, it's gone, it has evaporated. Or when you get your feet wet from the pool and you walk out of the swimming pool on hot pavement and you come back a few minutes later and your footprint's gone, it evaporated. Vapor changing to water is called condensation. So sometimes you'll have a very cold drink on a hot day and on the outside of your glass, you'll notice little water droplets, that's called condensation. Who invented umbrellas? Well, we don't know who, but umbrellas were first made in China, it's true, out of colorful paper and wood called bamboo. Thousands of years ago, they were first made so out in the sun, folks could walk in the shade. When it rained, they put wax on the paper. Here's why. Rain rolled off the wax, which kept the folks nice and dry. When air is warmer than freezing, I'd like to explain, water falls from the clouds and falls down as rain. When the air's freezing cold, it's important to know water falls from the clouds, but it falls down as snow. If you magnify snowflakes the way that we are, you will see that each one is a six pointed star. They are made up of crystals and each one you find is like no other snowflake. It's one of a kind. So no two snowflakes are alike. The desert is dry and the reason is clear. It's rainfall is less than 10 inches a year. Here is a word and we both like to rhyme it. The weather a place has the most is called climate. I'm sorry. The weather a place has the most is its climate. How do you keep cool when you live in a land that is hot, dry, and dusty and covered in sand? Loose fitting clothes let breeze blow through and light colors bounce the sun rays right off of you. Where on earth is it coldest? Meteorologists say Antarctica is freezing cold every day. Land covered in ice and deep drifting snow, the air is so cold that plants cannot grow. How thick is the ice there? Well, this made us think quick. We are standing on ice 7,000 feet thick. We used a thermometer and now we know in the air it is colder than in the deep, deep snow. Why do you suppose the air is colder than the snow? Maybe it has to do with the wind. In a tropical jungle, it's hot and it's wet. If you go there to visit, you soon start to sweat. The weather is humid, which makes you feel icky. The air is full of water, that's why you feel sticky. Air conditioners help you feel better. Here's why, cold air holds less water, so you feel cool and dry. In a thunderstorm, first you will see lightning flash. Next, you'll hear the thunder go rumble and crash. To find out how far thunderstorms are from you, try this easy trick and it's a fun thing to do. Start counting when you see a lightning bolt flash. Stop counting when you hear the next thunder clash. Take that number, divide it by five. When you do, that's the number of miles that the storm is from you. Lightning's electric. One flash is so strong, it could light every light in your house all year long. Nature is powerful. Thunder won't hurt you, but lightning could. So here are a few things we would like you to know. Lightning strikes what is the tallest. So take it from me and a thunderstorm never hide under a tree. And if you're out in a field and have no place to go, get as small as you can and then scrunch way down low. Stay inside your car if there's lightning around. It flows over your car and down into the ground. 
If strong winds are blowing with hard driving rain, you may be in the middle of a hurricane. Winds blow in a circle both night and day, knocking lots of things down that get in their way. Here's a hurricane fact that's a favorite of mine. There can be lots of hurricanes at the same time. So each one gets a name, Andrew, Agnes, or Dora, Lenny, Diana, Mitch, Bertha, or Flora. They each get a name, so there's never a doubt which hurricane people are talking about. Hurricanes blow things down, but I learned from thing two, tornadoes blow harder than hurricanes do. A tornado picks up everything it goes by, like a huge vacuum cleaner way up in the sky. It spins like a top twirling around and around, pulling trees, cars, and houses right off the ground. Once in a tornado, a chicken was tossed. She landed safely, but all of her feathers were lost. It's important to study the weather, it's true, but we cannot control it, whatever we do. The sun may be shining, the sky a bright blue, then suddenly a rain will start falling on you. Or the sky may be filled with dark storm clouds and then the sun will break through and shine down once again. You see, weather keeps changing, but one thing we know, it makes life exciting wherever you go. Have a lovely day. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Earth Day.